in this portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. I'm your business evangelist, Lloyd Luna, and this is Creative Business. Today, the headlines have made another exciting business week, a wrap-up of big news and interesting events that shaped the last seven days of Philippine business. My guest for today is, uh, I don't know, but I just don't have the time to tell you guys how accomplished this guy is and how fulfilled he is. But just to give you an overview, uh, he is the Director General of TRC, Technical Resource uh, Center, is it? Managing, uh, and in fact, he completed the Executive Education Program on Leaders and Development. That's Managing Change from the John F. Kennedy School of Government in where? Harvard University at Cambridge, Massachusetts. Now, here's Mr. Dennis, Dennis Conanan. In my top eight, starting and managing a business for profits and wealth by KCC. And finally, the creative business alphabet of achievement. The A to Z of setting your goals. We are now on T. Take a rest. Let's begin the hour with the business news that shaped our week. BIR said missing the point of carrier tax. Foreign businesses are dissatisfied with a recent view of internal revenue BIR circular that was supposed to ease the common carrier's tax burden of foreign air and shipping lines, saying it did not address their concern. The BIR reached revenue regulations number 11 2011 last July for providing that. The 3% common carrier stock should be computed on a more defined base composed of ticket price, rent, penalties, as well as fees on excess baggage, mail, freight, and cargo, etc. BIR Commissioner Kim Jacinto Henares said in a telephone interview last Wednesday that this means that the tax will be computed based on actual billing as opposed to being computed previously based on average revenues. Representatives of foreign business groups said last Wednesday that while the latest BIR ruling provides a clearer basis for the tax, it does not answer their complaint. Mainly, that while tax covers foreign carriers that operate in the Philippines, it does not cover local carriers that have international operations. What a conflict in there. This, they argue, gives local carriers undue advantage over foreign competitors. So that's it. Now, PESA concerns raised anew. What about this news? Exporters have renewed worries over business prospects and their 10% growth target uh, for a year given a strengthening peso and high input cost. The industry official said indigenous exporters, especially micro, small, and medium enterprises, or MSME, will be most affected given their higher local content and greater input restrictions. The peso gained for a seventh straight trading day yesterday adding 11.5 centavos to close at 42.11 pesos per US dollar its strongest finish so far for the year and traders said it was due to a looming default pulling down the green back with the local currency expected to further strengthen the central bank said it would only manage volatility via limited interventions and promotions of hedging instruments now next, Philippine Exporters Confederation Incorporated President Sergio R. Ortiz Luis Jr. said that the uncertainty toward the export growth goal is definitely greater now and the 10% growth goal remains a fighting target not only because of the exchange rate but also other factors like problems in our export markets. SME says profit growth by growth up by double digits. San Miguel Corporation's SME profits in the first semester are estimated to have grown by double digits due to a strong performance across all its business units a ranking official said late, late on tuesday san miguel president and chief operating officer ramon s ang said in an interview that first half profits of san miguel will be above last year representing a double digit growth mr ang explained that the growth among diversified conglomerates business units were all strong you have to quote and unquote that one this will mean that a figure higher than 6.28 billion pesos recorded for January to June last year, a period which saw profits fall sharply by 89% from 55.6 billion pesos in the year. Previous following the sale of a minority stake 
in its beer arm. Now, consolidated revenues from January to March grew by 183% to 126.6 billion pesos. San Miguel has so far hiked its net income by 146% to 7.4 billion pesos in the first quarter on the back of hefty revenues from its businesses. Official figures for the first half are expected to be out by the second week of August. Those were the news that shaped our week. Now I'm excited to interview this guest, so let's ask him some questions. Live from the Global News Network Studio in the Philippines, here's your business evangelist and host, Boy Luna. Ladies and gentlemen, no. Known notoriously as a public servant, a former executive uh, director of uh, the National Youth Commission, he's really a youth. I don't know. I, you can judge later on. Tignan niyo kung talagang youth. Mukhang youth o nag youth youth time. Currently, the Director General of Technology Resource Center, also president of his own private enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, honored to have him as a guest. Dennis Kunanan. Hi, sir. Hi, Lloyd. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the, the show. The honor is mine, Lloyd. <laughs> oh, come on, sir. I mean, y you are more popular than my show. You know <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even close. I'm not even close? Yeah, not even wow. close that. Okay. Now, that's, a, that's an advantage for me. How's everything, sir? So far, so good. Um, we're still in government, uh, mm -hmm. as usual. But this time, uh, we're more involved with uh, supporting uh, people who would like to do entrepreneurial activities. Uh, our office now, Technology Resource Center, used to be Technology Livelihood Resource Center, is uh, engaged in uh, ensuring that we will be able to touch base with a bigger number of our people who can do business, um, entrepreneurial activities, and be supported by technology. On the other hand, uh, we also take care of government technology rollouts, uh, especially the indigenous, uh, indigenously developed uh, inventions and researches. Okay. That can be uh, promoted and can be enhanced. That can help you. Know, can I throw my first stock question? No problem. Okay. Anytime. Really? Yeah. Ready? Go. Okay. Of all those accomplishments that you've had in the past, why still work with the government? Um, you know, it may be in the blood. You know, um, our family, um, with all humility, um, can stand even without you know me being in government, and they are even prodding me to go into our family business exactly the point. And, 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 and work with them and everything. But I keep on telling them, yes, uh, maybe one of my siblings can take care of that and uh, do the business work for me, for <laughs> the family, and then let me do public service. Uh, <laughs> like it, it, has been, it has been my passion, even when I was young. Um, when I was in, 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 um, in uh, high school, I, I decided to run in the student council in school. Um, and my dad almost collapsed because of that. Uh, really? Knowing that uh, I mean I'm I'm doing you know something for the school as as a student council, <laughs> uh, we staged the first uh, walk out just to make sure that uh, tuition fees will not increase. And that again you know shoot up the uh, blood pressure of my mom. And in any way, um, and when I went into college, I also joined the student council. I joined the the progressive movement for for the reason that I really wanted to make a change and things. When I was in college, I used to ask uh, how government is doing its job and how government is you know, spending government money or people's money. Mm -hmm. um, now, at least in my own small little uh, uh, responsibility in my center, I can tell them, I can tell people now who are there in my shoes way back right. uh, what I'm doing, mm -hmm. where government is heading, and how we're trying to make a difference in people's lives. Uh, who influenced you mainly on doing all these things? Well, 